Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. In today's video, I am super excited to show you my latest pickups. So these are the things that I've been collectively getting. Things that are actually for the fall winter 2020. Now, I just googled yesterday when winter 2020 is and it says that it's in December, 20s of December. So I don't know if it's even appropriate to do a winter haul when it's not even winter yet. But anyways, if you were new to my channel, my name's Carissa. I do some fashion related videos. I do some vlogs of like me and my family, random trips here and there outside our town. And I also do some travel vlogs. Well, back when we were still able to travel. You can also follow me on Instagram at Carrie Bundalian. So basically the same user that I have on here. I do post a lot of outfit videos and just stories of what happens to my day-to-day -day life. And obviously, when I get to travel again, I will be continuing to post some travel posts. So, let me just start off with my new coat that I got for this winter. I'm actually sitting right in front of my closet right here because I just wanna be able to access them quickly. This is actually the coat that I was talking about. So it's from Wilfred in the size small. It's a long coat and I will show you a try on of this later on. But it comes with two pockets on the sides as well. So this is quite a long one for me. I am just five one and a half. I want to say five two sometimes on some good days. But yeah, so this was originally priced at 228 Canadian dollars. I actually got it for 149 Canadian. So with taxes, it was like 160. I see this a lot on bloggers on Instagram and YouTube and how the long one is very popular nowadays rather than the shorter ones. I do have a more structured short one that I got from Topshop from years ago. And it kind of, um, I want to say I've kind of outgrown it because, you know, I mean, weight has been fluctuating and I was like in high school, basically. So, this is just an upgrade and I really do like it. It comes with two buttons, which you obviously can just undo if you want like a more relaxed vibe. But when it gets really cold, you can also button it up and put on a really chunky scarf. Moving forward, I have three pairs of shoes. Two of which are boots, so let me go grab them. The first pair, these are just some patent leather boots, which I got from Zara. These were like $70, I think, so they're not quite pricey. Um, they're obviously less than $100, and that's always a win-win. These are in size 37. I don't know if the color is translating properly on video, but this is more of like a, like a pale gray to off-white kind of color. It also has zippers at the back, just some gray hard, sorry, silver hardware. As you can see, these are also with the square toe, which I really, really love for this season. They have been in trend and it's just more popular now, the square toes, as opposed to just the round toes. And they have the chunky little heels at the back as well. These are so comfortable. I actually imagine myself wearing this with my Zara coat that I got like two years ago. Um, that one is more relaxed fit. So, you know, just whatever jumper I can wear underneath and then this and that and I can just see me taking pictures, you know, strutting down downtown Toronto. So that's that. The next pair I have struggled and I have looked everywhere just to find the perfect nude booties for me. So before we were rudely interrupted by my SD card, I was talking about these booties, which I did not expect to find from Call It Spring and these were so so cheap price wise. If you guys don't know Call It Spring is kind of like a sister company to Aldo uh, accessories and Aldo shoes. They are just the more affordable brand. So these were actually around I think originally they were $70. Really all in all these are such a bargain for me and they're also the perfect nude boots and on top of that they also have that fashionable square toe that I've been looking for like everywhere so I'm so happy but anyways I plan to wear these with the first item that I showed you these are I don't know what the material is but it's kind of a softer leather it's not calf skin but um, it's more delicate definitely compared to the the first boots that I showed you guys so the last pair of shoes that I'll be showing you is this Jimmy Choo pair of flats that I got. They were on sale. They went on sale and so I did get them. 
and they're so pretty you guys so it comes with a dust bag of course it's jimmy choo then it looks like this you guys it's so beautiful it's really the perfect um shade of pink it's i think it's called powder pink if I'm not mistaken. So this is in suede. And um, this is my first pair of suede shoes ever. I don't know how to properly take care of them. But if anything, I can always buy those like things that you spray. To kind of prevent them from um, getting dirty. And take care of the leather. Obviously this is more of a spring, uh, I guess, find. But I mean, it did go on sale during the winter, fall winter. So I thought that I might as well the color just makes your feet look pale i don't know if that's good it's a filipino thing you want to have white looking feet i think <laughs> so yeah it you know it's it's just something nice it's such a nice find for me and like i said it's my first pair of um i don't did i say it's my first pair of jimmy choo's so i heard I've been hearing a lot of um, good things about Jimmy Choo, the brand itself, and how they're really comfortable. We'll move over to some of like the accessories that I got from the Sephora sale that just went up a few days ago. So the first thing that I got is this mini blast ionic blow dryer. It's a very tiny blow dryer. It looks like that. And just like in the picture, like that. I believe this was around $40, but I mean, I'm just an insider. I don't really buy a lot of my makeup from Sephora. And I do want to, you know, just buy random things to just bring me to a VIB uh, status. So it comes with this head. I don't know how you use that even. But the actual thing is so small, you guys. It looks like this. I believe this is like what like five by five look how tiny good for traveling i'm not one who always have to blow dry my hair i prefer that it gets air dried just you know when i shower at night i just go to bed kind of with damp hair but i thought i'd give it a try but i do have quite a bit of hair so i don't know if i'll be sticking to it i'll see if i would have to return it but if anything you know Obviously, stores and shops have longer kind of return period now with what's happening. And then the palette from Sephora. It basically is inspired by the um, coffee colors. So it's very nude with all the browns. Perfect for fall and winter. But honestly, it's all the colors that I need. It's very tiny. It looks like this. And just a simple packaging uh you know just close it like that and then it has like the design here kind of gives you i guess like an insight to what you can see inside and the next thing or the last thing i got is this lip pencil from sephora it's a lip liner i'm sorry i just did not expect it to be this tiny it looks like that <laughs> It's very tiny, but I do want to like it. However, this was like $8 and I think the Morphe one, which is like twice the length of this, if you, you know, don't sharpen it yet, the original size is, was that like five, six US? I mean, I guess it's still, it's around there, but I mean, compare it to this really small one. So anyways, this one is in the shade number 13, Pink Beige. So basically, the things that I got from Sephora are all part of the Sephora line. So that's all that I have for today's haul, and I hope you guys like this video. See you next time. Bye!